What is up guys, you for your here today. I'm actually going to be reviewing a figure that's actually on my desk. Captain Rex. Um this is probably one of my favorite figures. So um we know who Captain Rex is due to the Clone Wars, very, very good series. So y'all know my four points of reviewing. So let's just get straight into the thing. We all know the thing is accessories, likeness of the figure, articulation, and um, how it looks and how good it looks. So let's get into the uh, figure. So this figure comes with two DC-17 blasters. Um, they have silver weathering on them. They're the Rex pistols. Very, very good. Molding, we've already seen them on Commander Fox, though. So this figure, um, let's take a look at the helmet first. He has... Um, his uh, wayfinder or range finder, it goes, it can, it can go all the way around, and the helmet is very, very nice. It looks good. It has the uh, the, the the marks, the um, the lines. I don't know what it's called. It has a lot of sand weathering. But you take this off, and that is probably the best more Morrison face. I think on any action figure. Maybe besides Hot Toys or Sideshow, but that is a very, very good likeness to Tamora Morrison. And I really, really do like how it turned out. Um, he also does have the pauldron and the ammo pack. He also does have this, uh, the uh, outwards at the shoulders and a really good articulation which is on too many clone troopers where it actually bends very, very nicely. And that's the same on this one. Uh, this is the trigger finger. This is the other figure. Finger. We have a small ball joint here. And we also have the um, the pistol holders for the DC-17s. Um, fit in there quite snug. And the other one launched over here. And the legs are also very, very nice. They do their job. And then you have the, not, the, eh, the leg range is kind of good. But also on the body, you have the blue stripe. Also goes over here, we also have the comma and the belt, which is very, very nice. We also have the um, more lines here and lines on there. And some more markings. Um, yeah, nothing really much to say, except that it's a very, very, very nice figure. I really do like it. So let's get into the box and then the final verdict. So here's the box. A little dirty, dusty, but this is some very, very nice art. It looks like it. It looks very, very nice, I'll admit it. And Cloak and Captain Rex, or random stuff. Age warning. We have the name. And then we have the box. Clone Captain Rex, now Commander Rex, served the Republic during the Clone Wars, often taking orders from Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano. He viewed military service as an honor. He always completed his missions. Also, another thing, you also have the number 59. And, um, black series right there. So, I have the number again. So, yeah. Final verdict time. This figure's great. Easily a four. Nothing to say. It's more of a shorter one. But this figure is just great. I mean, just like, look at that articulation. That is so good. And the thing is, um, apparently Hasbro, they make these and uh, figures like Commander Fox in different factories. So the newly Commander Bly that just came out um, comes from the factory where, with what makes the pauldrons. So these, are, which is articula articulation, which is kind of lazy, honestly. Um, I mean, like, come on, we need figures to have better articulation. It's just obvious. And I cannot stress how good this figure looks. This is honestly my favorite figure, looking figure-wise. There's one more that is better than this. Um, no hints to that, though. I will tell you whenever that figure comes. Not for a little while. But everything just seems to be good. Like, just look at this figure. Everything on here is crisp. It's also very, very glossy. I had, definitely have to add that. So, um, yeah. Uh, this is UV Hercules, signing off.
I'm not signing off. Just take care. See you guys later.